Welcome back. I hope you're feeling a little bit more confident about getting data into Power BI and not feeling so intimidated by this great tool because by the end of this course, you're going to be really productive and answering business questions with ease using Power BI. So first, I want to get a little bit more familiar with your interface. So let's take a look at this. We know already that you're a little bit familiar with the Get Data tab. And, and as we did in the previous video, we loaded Excel in by getting data. We have our recent sources, which you saw before, which is our recent uh, sources that we loaded in the Power BI. Or we have inner data, which we can actually type in data or paste data in. We're going to be using a little bit of that in this course, so we can cancel out of that because we're not using it. We have our refresh icon, which allows us to refresh a data set that may have been updated outside of Power BI. We have our new page which allows us to create a new page or new tab like you may be familiar with in Excel. So just by clicking that or the plus sign at the bottom, you're able to create a new tab and you can delete that quite easily by pressing the X. The new visual icon allows you to load the visual into Power BI and you can get rid of it get rid of that visual there. We can also load the visual in from the visualization pane here. Uh, this is a little bit of an advanced feature where you can ask questions to your data set. We can add text box, like if we want to add a title or an information box. We can add images, um, shapes. We can also add custom visuals which is a great thing about Power BI because visuals are updated all the time. You can switch themes, which are color themes, and we're going to do a little bit of that in our styling video. Then we can create new calculations, what is called a measure in Power BI. We can create new columns, and then we can also use some of the quick measures that are already loaded into Power BI. As you see here, it allows us to make the calculation very quickly. And then we have publish, which allows us to publish our report into Power BI cloud service. If you come to the right, we have filters, which we can add a filter to our page. So say you want to filter on a date or, or a certain value in a column, we can filter that on all pages also. We have our visualization um, a visualization pane where you're able to add different visuals and we have our fields pane which we have all our columns so let's get a little bit more familiar with that just by creating a visual and playing around with that a little bit more so let's select one of our columns here and I'm gonna select your ad group and when you select a column it's going to populate onto your screen and the default is a table. So I have my add group column here and I can go over and click one of the aggregated measures here or values. And maybe I want to see the number of impressions I have for each ad group. So I would click impressions and we can see that information loaded there. And now we can circle over to the visual pane and see that the table is selected. But you can easily change this visual just by clicking any other others. So now we have a quick bar graph. We have a, a stack chart, but we have a pie chart, which is, uh, you can see the difference here. We have a donut chart. We can have a funnel. We can even have this waterfall chart. So let's go back up to our bar chart. 
and I want to make you a little bit more familiar with the section here under the visualization pane. As you see, we know we click the add group, which we can see indicated by the check mark. We know we also added our impressions, which is also indicated by the check mark. And on your visual, you know you have a X and Y axis. And we can also see that your ad group is in your axis here. And the value that you're using is impressions. We can also see we have tool tips that we can add here. And we'll talk about that in the next video, the next coming videos where you can add information to this tool tip that you can see highlighted here. And we have cross drill throughs and we'll talk about that in a little bit later videos. If you click this format, which looks like a paintbrush, paintbrush roller, we're also able to style our visualization with a lot of different options here. And just to give you an indication, we can click colors and easily change the color. Well, let's change that to purple. We can add data la labels by just clicking on and off. And you can see the data labels populated there. The next one is your analytics options. And here we can add a constant line. And depending on the visualization, you'll have a lot more options. So this is a little playground for you to change the visualization and have a little bit of fun here. However, I have a challenge for you. I would like to know which ad group we have spent the most money on. And remember, we're gonna circle back over to your field section and we know I have the impression selected. We know I have ad groups selected. So you should be able to change that with a simple selection. So I would like to know which ad group we spent the most money on. So have fun with this visualization and, and the homework question. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.